This is going to be a lot of fun guys and I really hope that you try it. It's really simple and again I just copied the designs that you see and that I'm about to use from Pinterest. It's nothing that I had to come up with myself. I just saw something that I liked and I went ahead and tried it. And the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure your pumpkins are cleaned off like all the dust and like stuff from out in the field and you also want to dry them thoroughly. Now one little tip that I will give you is like see like the natural like groove of the pumpkin. Sometimes with this design it, you like naturally want to like put the line into the groove. Um, but you might want to try to avoid doing that if you want like a certain am amount of like dips or lines or dots. And that can be a little bit tricky because sometimes your pen or your marker is going to want to go into that line. So try your best and definitely practice before you go ahead and do it for real. I should have taken a pencil and gone over this and done it once like, and then just traced it with the marker, but I didn't because I was being impatient and I was excited to do it and I just wanted to do it. And luckily it turned out okay for me, but definitely if this is your first time, use a pencil and trace it before you go in with a Sharpie. And you know, even if you do that and you make a mistake, I've heard you can get it off with a magic eraser.
Hey, if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I'm going to start doing some kind of hand lettering or make something video every Friday. And if this is something that you really like doing, I'm going to start doing a lot more of it because you guys really seem to like it. So make sure you're subscribed and hit that little bell notification so that you get notified every time I post a new video. So what I'm about to do here is not something I saw somewhere. Um, well, I'm sure it exists somewhere, but in my mind, I was just making it up as I went. I kind of like was thinking stained glass or something similar to that would look cool. And um, I don't think it ends up looking like stained glass, but it, it ends up looking pretty, pretty neat. So um, I'm just drawing little triangles and then I'm going to fill them in with different colors with my multicolored Sharpie set. Another piece of encouragement that I'll give you guys, sometimes when you're doing a project like this and it's your first time and you're like halfway through, your brain tells yourself, oh my gosh, this looks horrifying. I can never show anybody this. It looks so bad. I just want to throw it away and never do this again. But even though you think that way, finish the project and then take a step back. Don't look at it for a little while. And when you come back to it, I, it's nine times out of ten, you'll go, oh, okay, well, you know what, that actually does look kind of cute. So don't give up. Don't throw the stuff away. Don't throw your pumpkin away. <laughs> Just give it a second and come back to it in an hour, two hours, or maybe even the next day. So that's it guys, that's my little series of pumpkins. I think it turned out super cute. Oh yeah, on that pumpkin there on the bottom left, I didn't show it on camera, but I just put little like V's all over it. So I hope you guys really like this video. 
and please, 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 even if you think you are not artistic, even if you think you could never do something like this, just try. I never thought that I would be good at hand lettering. I never thought that it'd be something that I would do long term. But I will tell you that my sister-in-law, Deja, who's one of my best friends in the world, she is a master at this. And she encouraged me and she believed in me and she let me copy her. And it ended up being something that I really, really loved. She is an amazing artist and she even just recently illustrated a children's book. I'm gonna link her below, go check her out. But just like she believed in me, I believe in you guys. I really think that you can do it. And I'd love if you guys shared with me what you ended up creating. Oh yeah, and have you hit that subscribe button? Go ahead and do that today. I'll see you guys.